Hi guys, welcome back to Tutorial Days. And in this video, we will fetch the details of the product. This is the product details page. So let's open this page and find the image first. So, so first of all, we will have to make connection to database HP. So just copy this code and paste here so that we have made a connection here of database. Actually, we will not need these two times. Now we write a query here dollar cell select start from products products where load id comes to id then dollar cell so dollar query equal to analyst realign query dollar form dollar cell and here dollar address equals to analyst realign Patch array dollar query. Now we have to fetch the details here. So here images to then HP default RS. Then uh, load the image. Here you can see the image. Also, we will change price. Must be double bit. This price range of one nine. This is image section. Here is the product name. So I have here HP Echo Dollar RS. Then Road Name. Here, road price. Road price. This one to be So, here it's displaying from name, from price, and this quantity we can change. Uh, 
value as t one. So the initial value will be one. This additional image, uh, I will show you in a later video uh, that how we can add multiple images from admin okay, and display here. So for the time being, I'm currently leaving it and we will proceed to add to card section. And other details also like uh, uh, condition name and the brand. So later in later video, we will also add brand and then I will show you how that will work. Okay. But for the time being, uh, I'm leaving those things and we will go ahead this add to cart. Okay. So in the next video, I will show you that how this add to cart will work. But before that, let's do one thing here is so quantity so span and then quantity here. So let's get form method post and the exam start dot php. Or we can write here our duct details dot PHP. And then let's close the form. So inside the form we will pass quantity as well as for ID. So for that we have to write here input type hidden we don't want to show the product ID to the customer so uh, input type hidden name it will be name load ID load underscore ID value equal to product ID that means product ID here Already. So it will pass quantity as well as so and right here change it to submit so that it will work as a submit button when we will click add to cart. Now let's go to top of the page and write here if underscore uh, post. If dollar is closed, and check here in to the score R dollar underscore closed, and then print the now. If I click on add to cart, then it's passing the code ID and not quantity. So there is something wrong. Let's check. So Input type text value equal to one, but name is not there. So we name equal to two T Y. Now let's try it. Okay. 
So two things are going here: product price as well as product ID as well as quantity. Okay. Now let's write code here. Setting data. But before that, let's start here. Session. Session. Start. And then, yes, yeah, session start. Now let's write query to insert data into dollar ins equal to insert into card. That means we have already created table or card. So here is your card table. Load ID and session ID. Two things we will enter here. Insert into card. So, load underscore ID and load underscore ID and UTY uh, and price. Values. Post post ID comma Lord underscore ID comma QTY and price. So if we T Y and this will be more price. And then one more thing will be here says ID. Says ID that means current session ID. So we have to write here. Session ID. This is a PHP function which assigns a unique session ID when we open the browser. So whenever you open a browser, a unique session ID is assigned so that and we will enter the session ID so that we can identify which user have added the product into cart. But before that, we have not written anywhere for price. So let's find form. Here, just like this, we will have to pass for input type unit value equal to load ID. ID will be not for price. Load ID. And Again, paste it. Put type in it and load price. Load price. Value to the load price. So passing product ID as well as product price. So I'll go to here and then. Error reporting just right here. Error reporting E error. So that notices error. Okay. 
Okay. Must be like what? Must be like query for inserting education the data. The query. Dollar INS. Dollar dollar INS. So let's see if it's entering into card table or not. Just click on this and let's check here if it is entering into card table or not. So this is the card table, so it's not entering, so something is wrong. Now let's go here and find what is wrong with it. Add to cart. This is our query. So just copy it and paste into this table. Try. So what does it say? Unknown column says ID. So this says some ID. Not even. You change the field as session ID. I think now it should work. Okay, now it's entering. Cat ID, quantity, four ID, and price. Two things are missing here. It's not entering. So, we already in class. Group underscore ID and group underscore class. We have to put these two fields in the middle. Input type hidden name into the variable to this group underscore ID. HP equal dollar RS or industry ID. It was fine for industry price. So let's check by refreshing it. Let's go to resource if the value is coming or not. So here, no ID. Okay, somehow value is coming. Blank and for price value is also coming blank. Okay, so it's not coming because this is our actual URL. Now let's click on this. Somehow it's redirecting to this. That is why the ID tangent remains same. So what I have written here in action. Okay. So better, let's leave it as it is. In Excel field, then it will work fine. Yes. Now let's check into the card table. Yes. Now entering product ID as well as price. Now, in the our next video, we will see, we will create card page and then display our data into card page. So stay connected. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.